Born around 780 AD in what is thought to be Khorasan, Al Khwarizmi was a Persian Muslim mathematician who played a significant role in contributions to modern day algebra. Al Khwarizmi worked in a scientific research center, the House of Wisdom, located in Baghdad. Whilst working at the House of Wisdom with his colleagues known as the Banu Musa brothers, Al Khwarizmi worked on valuable contributions to mathematics as well as astronomy and geography. Whilst also working alongside Caliph al Mamun, the son of a famous ruler of the Middle Ages, Al Khwarizmi primarily worked on one of his most famous works. The title of this work translates and forms the word algebra, making this the first book to be written on this topic. Even after his death in 850 AD, Al Khwarizmi's legacy lives on and he is remembered for his valuable contributions in early Islamic culture. Al Khwarizmi brought the Arabic numeral system to the Western world, replacing the complex Roman numeral number system with the much simpler 0 to 9 numeral system still used today. But why? What's so groundbreaking about the 0 to 9 system? Well, take the above problem in Roman numerals XXIV by CCCXLIII. And apart from taking an eternity to write out, you also need to decipher what appears to be an extremely complex question, and that's just too much effort. However, with the Arabic 0 to 9 numeral system, this same problem can be written as 25 by 343 which equals 8,575, which is so much simpler to solve compared to the Roman numerals used before. In addition to bringing the Arabic numeral system to the Western world, Muhammad Algebra, as his name suggests, was the founder of modern day algebra. He developed a series of six standard forms for solving quadratic and linear equations, laying the foundations for modern day mathematics. Fibonacci was known as the greatest mathematician the medieval world has ever seen. Fibonacci was influenced by algebra which Al Khwarizmi created to create his Fibonacci sequence, which was xn equals xn minus 1 plus xn minus 2. This is a way of perfect replication of a certain species, for example, rabbits. He developed this theory after reading the book of the compendious book of calculations by completion and balance. Nicola Tagiglia was influenced by Al Khwarizmi close to 800 years later through the, him developing the solution for a cubic, which is ax3 plus bx2 plus cx plus d equals zero. Without algebra, which Al Khwarizmi developed, there'd be no solutions. For example, they would be unable to solve the critical points using the quadratic formula or points of inflection. Carl Gauss was close to 1,020 years after Al Khwarizmi, still being influenced by his original work on algebra. Being able to solve a matrix which was in the form of AX equals B, allowing him to solve linear equations with, through Gaussian elimination. Influenced by Al Khwarizmi to solve the same problem he did more than a thousand years apart, just using a different way. Another influence that Al Khwarizmi did is the Arabic numeral system, and that influenced everyone. Every single mathematician these days uses the form of the Arabic numeral system. Scientists, engineers, modern maths, um, businessmen all use it areas of modern day mathematics based on Mr. Algebra's work. Without Mr. Algebra's work, there is essentially no modern day mathematics as he sets the fundamentals for algebra, trigonometry and the numeric system. Specifically, his algebra work was based on the solving of linear and quadratic equations such as x equals a, where a is a pronumeral, and ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and his trigonometry in providing a proof for Pythagoras' theorem. His numeric system was completely simplified compared to the Roman numeral system comprising numbers 0 to 9 instead of Roman numerals X, I, V and so on. Thank you for watching our video on Muhammad Ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi.